so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this kind of gun nozzle in the blender with the help of the loop tool add-on so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial okay so first of all i'm just going to switch my uh, solid mode from here okay then i'm just going to enable this thing basically and now i'm just going to delete everything pressing the a something like that and then i'm just going to add one plane pressing the shift a and then i'm just going to my top view and uh, first of all i'm just going to subdivide my plane pressing the right click and doing subdivide uh, two time something like that okay then i'm just going to add one uh, modifier it's called array modifier okay and then i'm just going to uh, apply this modifier something like that here you can see from here i'm just going to apply it okay then i'm just going to select these uh, vertices from here middle vertices okay then i'm just going to press the right click and here you will see the loop tool add-on basically so right now we'll just use this circle feature of this loop tool add-on and if you not found this option pressing the right click so what you have to do exactly you have to just go to your edit preference and uh, on the add-on section you have to just search the loop tool so you will get this add-on okay you have to just enable from the here and make sure you just click the save preference and if you click the auto save preference so you don't need to save it manually okay it will automatically uh, save it okay and after that you have to just press the right click and when you will see this option you have to just click this circle so when you click on it you will see that kind of um, shape here okay which is great to start a basic circle shape basically and from here you will see some options from here you will get the some method which is uh, the best fit and fit inside okay it's uh, depend on your requirement you can just uh, use it so best fit is fine to me uh, and i don't want to change anything from here because these option is by default working good for me okay and this is the influence basically which is uh, basically here you can see if i'm just going to decrease this influence so it's uh, going to become a uh, cube to circle something like that okay okay so i'm just going to keep it uh, influence as a hundred by default then i'm just going to press the i and going to insert these vertices little bit something like that so then i'm just going to extrude it inside something like that and that much extrusion is fine to me then i'm just going to delete these faces something like that okay so after that here you can see uh, when i just add the one modifier it's called a subdivision surface so you will see something like that this is a perfect uh, circle basically so before adding the subdivision surface uh, modifier i'm just doing to one more thing also first one i'm just going to cut this then i'm just going to uh, enable my x-ray view and going to select these vertices and going to merge as a by distance okay and then i'm just going to select these uh, edges basically side edges something like that okay and pressing the end then i'm just going to my item section here you will see and then i'm just going to increase the crease value to one okay so now what happened exactly when i'm just add the uh, subdivision surface modifier so it will affect only the inside of these vertices not to the uh, boundary vertices so we'll just get this straight shape here okay then i'm just going to increase the viewport level from here so now here you can see now we have a perfect uh, circle here and if you want to just select this one and going to little scale it so you will get some smooth curvature here and then i'm just going to add the shade smooth as well and going to enable the auto smooth okay then i'm just going to uh, duplicate this from here pressing the shift d and going to keep it uh, here and going to rotate it something like that and then we're just going to keep it here as well and i'm just going to select everything pressing the ctrl j for the join the mesh and then i'll just select these vertices these middle vertices and going to merge as a by distance okay so now here you can see we have a uh, that kind of shape here now we can just uh, set this origin as a geometry and going to press the shift s and going to selection to cursor so it will automatically set uh, automatically set to the word origin something like that then i'm just going to add the array modifier again and going to create uh, some copies okay seven copies is fine to me and then i will just duplicate it from here and then i'm just going to change the factor value to here to here so we'll see something like that that's look great to me by the way okay then after that what i'm going to do i'm just going to apply these array from here then i'm just going to set the origin as a geometry and then i will just press the shift s again selection to cursor so we'll get the again our object into the world origin something like that 
then I'll just use the um, simple deform from here and then I will just change twist to the bend and from here I will just set the angle to the 360 degree so you will see something like that so we have to just change the axis from here I will just change as a Z axis but still we can't uh, see exactly what we want so for that what we have to do we have to just add one extra object okay then we have to just select from the here the origin section so, so what I'm going to do exactly I'm just going to add one uh, empty here plain axis okay then I'm just going to increase this size from here and after that I will just select this shape go to my modify section from here I will just select this shape so it will look like this but right now we can't see anything happening here for that what we have to do we have to just uh, rotate this according to our axis so here you can see when I just rotate it so we can sh see something like that and that's look great to me by the way okay then we can just add the uh, one more modifier it's called uh, solidify modifier but it will help to create a thickness on it okay so first of all I'm just going to increase little bit thickness so here you can see we have a thickness now and now I'm just going to change the as a complex and we'll change as a flat okay so here you can see guys now we have a uh, that kind of nozzle shape which is look cool to me okay and uh, after that you have to just add the texture on it okay so which is i have already created so i'm just going to apply it from here so when i'm just going to switch my solid mode to the rendering mode so it will uh, look like this and here you can see that's look great to me okay guys so that's how you can create uh, this kind of nozzle uh, gun nozzle effect in the blender with the help of the some modifiers which is a kind of trick basically and this is a totally beginner tutorial which is i have told you in the beginning of my video okay and which is uh, help to create a good topology also if i'm just going to uh, edit mode of this um, nozzle so we'll just get this good topology here you can see we have a all quad topology and we can just uh, manage these uh, topology from the our uh, modify section as well from here so here you can see if I'm just going to switch my wireframe mode so we have a good topology here here you can see that's great to me by the way okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box I will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys